This Queen Elizabeth started as a six-ton piece of mahogany. It's a full-scale, quarter-inch to one-foot model of the pride of Britain's mercantile marine. At a Northampton model makers, this schoolboy's dream come true is receiving final touches before shipment to the Cunard White Star offices in New York. High-skilled workers toiled with a craftsman's love of perfection for almost a year. Every inch of the 21-foot, 7-inch model with its 900 fittings were assembled according to drawings and photographs of its mighty original. And now the ship is receiving its final makeup, the last of 20 coats of paint. To the minutest detail, the model exactly reproduces features of the 85,000 ton liner down to the last capstan and every one of its 1,700 portholes. Its workshop, too, is a shipyard in miniature. Model making is an old and proud craft. The first steam carriage that ever moved under its own power was from a model built over 150 years ago. In wartime, the model maker's skill was an essential factor in producing the weapons of victory. All eyes look with pride and perhaps even a little envy on a worthy baby sister to a queen of the seas.